Hi, Cancers. This is Tara Queen Jamila. <clears throat> Sorry, here to do your love and money forecast for May 2017. So welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and also thank you for clicking on the link to my video. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you're looking for a private reading with me, I do offer live phone readings as well as video readings. Uh, right now, my 30-minute readings are on sale for 20 for the month of April. So thank you and welcome to the channel. Um, I will be using two different decks for your reading. I will be throwing two different spreads for your money, but I'm going to start with your love. So I'm going to go ahead and smudge the cards a little bit and shuffle and ask the spirits for the cancers. What are you seeing in their love forecast? This is also for couples. So if you're in a relationship with someone, this would apply to you. All right, so I am going to start out with four cards and then four clarifiers. So I'm just going to ask spirits for the cancers for May 2017. What are the love energies for the couples for the first, second, third, and fourth week? Oh, what is that? Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jacob is in their plan. Hey, quit that. Hey, can you stop him from doing that, please? We'll just let him beat on whatever he's beating on. All right. Okay, so Cancer's. First week, you got three of swords. Second week, you get the full card. Third week, you get nine of cups. And for the fourth week, you got two of cups. So I do feel as though, uh, the, now first of all, the three of swords was the only card that came up reversed. So I interpret reverse cards differently. Um, three of swords in the upright position does represent someone um, in a, involved in a love triangle and this could represent your relationship the energies but when it's in reverse it sort of means something different so I'm going to ask spirit to give me clarity on more on the first week and what is happening in the first week for the cancers okay ace of swords prince of swords and the hermit so this is obvious. It looks like the Prince of Swords does represent an air sign person that you have moved on from. They're not happy. This is a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Um, seeing the energies just kind of go back to the past is kind of like the Hermit is representing. Um, so if I were to go further back, um, you know, I would definitely... The hermit is representing someone sort of protecting themselves. This is like the Virgo energy going inside of themselves to protect themselves. Okay, so for it to show up for the Cancer, could represent that Cancers do have a Virgo partner. There is some sort of involvement with this uh, Prince of Swords. Prince of Swords represents some sort of message coming in. Now, you could have a partner um, or an ex-partner. I do feel like this person is sort of um, maybe either sending some sort of, you know, messages telepathically, psychically. You know, I, I just kind of see with them behind this Ace of Swords that, you know, Ace of Swords represents getting clarity on maybe a person that you need to break away from. Okay, could be you gaining um, clarity on a person and then actually triumphing and overcoming whatever that situation in the month of April. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like the energies and the spirits were, um, I kind of feel the um, that it is going to affect your relationship for the first week. I do feel that the first week of May. Now going into the second week of May, um, you get the full card. So this is where you have a new beginning. He is having too much fun. <laughs> I feel like this represents some sort of rebirth. Okay. 
Um, maybe the hermit could represent that during the month of April that there was possibly some energies that maybe could have separated you. Maybe you were feeling isolated from your partner. Maybe things weren't. So I, I would need to go and look at the April reading. Um, again, the energy of this hermit, this is when you don't feel somebody. You're not feeling somebody. You recoil from them. So, you know, I kind of see this energy coming in and the Ace of Swords represents the new beginning. You know, if something is just not for you, it's just not for you. That's all it is to it. It's kind of like trying to mix oil with water. And I do feel that's what the Hermit and the Prince of Swords represents. The Hermit kind of representing uh, for the Cancer, the Cancer sort of protecting themselves. And the Prince of Swords, you know, is represented, uh, you know, somebody trying to cut through that to get to you. Um, in a vicious way, typically, okay, especially with the Three of Swords. So um, I kind of see you going into the month of May in your relationship, sort of being isolated, you know. Um, spirits, give me more info about this Prince of Swords. This is definitely someone that doesn't like you, that you don't get along with. This person feels like you're not giving them enough attention. This person is an attention-seeking individual. Okay, and they're feeling, and they're probably having, um, I feel like whoever it is, is possibly, um, I'm going to throw your money read now so I can see how your finances are going to be in May. Um, I feel like this person either feels that it, this is a love reading and not money, but I feel like on some level this person is sort of lost. This person feels that they don't get enough out of anything. They're just not getting enough out of life, period. So that doesn't really point to money, but I do feel like the Prince of Swords is an opposing energy, okay? Um, somebody was asking me, what is that? <clears throat> there are some people that just want to make sure that you're not happy. They want to create, and there's nothing in it for them. There's nothing, they're getting nothing, trust me. Okay, that's why the Five of Pentacles came up. So you know that you're getting nothing from whatever that situation is. Um, some of you cancers may be breaking away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, it does resonate with me. I am a cancer, but I don't have any air sign people that I need to part ways with, especially in May. Hopefully, there won't be anybody to part ways with. There would be nobody. So the full card going into the second week, I feel like it represents some sort of rebirth or... Um, Maybe sparking that old flame in your relationship. Also, the fool represents trust. And with these heart cards around, because the cups are the hearts. And also female, it just kind of represents maybe trust in somebody. You know, with your heart, I feel the energy's coming off of these. Definitely, definitely feel like you've got trust issues. And I, I feel like mo I feel like a lot of relationships work on trust issues, but it depends on how deep they are. I'm gonna add spirit uh, though, however, for the money is for the money energies for the characters for May 2017. All right, we want to look at money, job, finance. All right. Okay, so for the first week, you get the queen or the king of pentacles. I think this is the king of pentacles, so this is pretty good. Uh, the lovers does come up around the second week, which means that this could be some sort of crossroads or either um, maybe another job choice, okay? Um, Six of Cups represents um, nostalgia, um, you know, thinking about what, once was so you know we'll do more clarifiers on that but i feel like the six of cups represents maybe going back to an old job maybe going i don't want to say going back to an old job but maybe um it could be someone at the job leaving it could be that you're gonna go to um i'll have to clarify some of these because 
they're not directly giving me any information but the emperor coming up at the last of the month does represent um i feel like money is going to be pretty good for cancers in may um i feel like there are there's some advice that i need to clarify but um you know because when i saw the five of pentacles now with the queen of pentacles coming up at the first of the month cancer uh does represent your stability your financial security but we'll see what else is going on because there is something happening in your um love life that is i feel like your love life is interfering with your job straight up okay because the love life seems to be pretty good uh, looking at the career as far as whatever, definitely the emperor is especially the king and the, or the queen of pentacles represents standing strong and firm. The lovers represents union. The six of cups represents nostalgia, you know, and the emperor represents certainty. So I feel like your job situation is pretty solid, you know. Um, Spirit, give me clarity on the first week. Okay, I just want to clarify this one court card. Okay, five of pentacles. There it comes out, seven of swords. And the six of wands. So it's interesting that those three cards come up. So you do have two fives, so just look up what that repeating number means. You've got some treachery coming in, Cancer. It's something to do with work. Um, it is coming in through your relationship gateway and trickling down to work. So coming up on the first week of May, you know, and here's another thing I want to tell you guys is that the queen of pentacles is representing sort of being where you're supposed to be. Okay. Now I feel like the five of pentacles is going to more so represent Feeling like you're not getting enough, okay? And maybe even represents maybe some financial worries that we, the Seven of Swords coming up, and you can see. So it's sort of trickling through your relationship. So I would say with the lovers coming up, I would say make sure that your relationship remains strong, okay? Because you can see with the second week, things come back to normal in your relationship, and then you get the lovers for the second week. So I feel like the first week is going to be turbulent in your relationship and it is going to affect your work. Um, I kind of feel like your boss is going to sort of be holding back from you, um, you know, maybe. And there is some sort of treachery. Somebody's contacting your job. Now, the six of wands coming up represents your good spirits and good karma coming together and helping sort of you standing strong in your position and you not stooping down to that level I do feel like the energies are going to be supported that week if you do that <clears throat> I'm going to ask Spirit to give me more clarity on the lovers which could indicate the crossroads Spirits give me clarity on the lovers Okay, so this is the Queen of Wands. The Hermit comes up the second week. And then Four of Wands, beautiful. So Four of Wands is representing security. Security in the home, security in the family. And Four of Wands represents abundance. So I do feel like sort of uh, first week in your relationship, you're going to have to go into hermit mode. And then second week, it's going to filter into your job um, first and second week. So second week, I do see you going into hermit mode, sort of contacting your spirits, sort of asking for protection, and then, you know, being able to manifest out of that. Okay, some signs, their protection is their best manifestation just protection protecting yourself um i feel like the energies coming in from the hermit could represent archangels could represent your spirit guides uh, um so i sort of see you sort of being in a bubble where you're just sort of ignoring everything you have to be able to there's a lot of distractions 
people trying to distract you. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you that the first week you're going to realize that it has something to do with this Gemini that's younger than you. I feel like it's a Gemini. Okay. I feel like they want something from you. And they're upset when they, you know. So I feel like this is jealousy. And it does filter through somehow. Even if you're not dealing with that person directly, it's coming in through spirit somehow. If you've got children, it could be your child. Prince is a younger person. So it could be coming in through your child. The conflict and the anger and the heartache and the despair. Um, unfortunately, people will use children to... Um, do their bidding and sometimes it causes people to get hurt causes a lot of confusion So that's what man and but I do feel like the energy is leading up to May I feel like something if you're smart some of you kind of reversed that energy before it hits you Okay, so this is some kind of stoppage some tr somebody trying to stop your money somebody trying to stop your relationship trying to divide and conquer probably through the air Okay, you got a lot of air cards. Uh, so psychic attacks, people sending psychic energy, people uh, sending suggestion is happening a lot. So just look out for that and make sure you protect yourself. I do feel that you will do that with uh, a lot of these cards that are coming up. Five of Pentacles is kind of representing that energy of, you know, um, yeah, people are attacking me. I feel lost. And, but I do feel with the Seven of Swords, this is where you are going to fight. You know? So the third week, you get the Six of Cups. So this is where things are where they should be. Six of Cups is actually a good card to get in a money reading. Um, I feel like this is where you are feeling a whole lot better. Okay? Uh, going into the third week to represent the third week for your finances and money. Um, Spirit, give me more clarity on that week. What are you saying? Judgment. Ace of coins and two of swords. So, um, judgment means that you're going to use better judgment. And you can really see that in the past, I feel as though you possibly are either going to work out an issue. I do feel like it's issue with an earth sign individual. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see where I can see that in your reading uh, with this five of pentacles. That's earth energy. And so is the emperor. So is the hermit. I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign individual that has issues with insecurity problems. And I do feel like that person is like what I call pocket watching. They're watching you closely. The problem is, is that they're having this negative effect on themselves because they're not paying attention. So I do feel like the Ace of Pentacles is representing when things start to take shape. Um, maybe some sort of new purchase you're going to make. You're going to use better judgment on something. But it is where you're going to use good judgment on something in the past. And you are going to somehow overcome it, you know. Um, now the Emperor comes up uh, financially. This is where you would be doing very good financially for, for the end of May. So I say that, you know... Um, Definitely some fear, some anxiety about money coming in. I do feel like that energy comes from the hermit. This is somebody that personally is isolated from you. So just keep that in mind. There is an air sign individual. There is other conflicts. I do see a lot of different energies, especially in that five of pentacles. That, you know, that's some sort of collective. You know what I'm saying? Um, Spirit, give me clarity on the emperor for the money. All right. The moon card. All right. So the moon card represents um, being in a good place and then that energy just sort of coming right behind you, that psychic energy. Knight of Cups represents um, and the high priestess. 
So I will tell you that, you know, all of these cards are very good for you to get. But I will warn you that there is psychic attacks to be expected uh, involving your job because of jealousy and treachery and envy. Um, so the high priestess is representing, you know, following intuition, um, having a high level of attractability. So the high priestess and the emperor, very good cards to get. Um, two of cups comes up. So I do feel as though, you know, the money is going to be looking good, especially in as far as how you're manifesting. And then as far as, you know, matters of the heart, I feel like maybe you probably work with your significant other. Or maybe, you know, if it's not a job, then you're working a business with each other, possibly. Now, you did get the two of cups on the other side of your reading. Um, the full card represents a new beginning. There is a trust issue within your relationship, though. Let me find out what that is about. Okay, Spirit, show me what is this trust issue. I do see you getting a new beginning because of that, because you got the Nine of Cups. Trust issue is has something to do with an Earth sign. Maybe your partner is an Earth sign. Maybe this is an Earth sign individual. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, the trust issue is surrounding whoever this person is. And I'll ask Spirit what advice to offer the Cancer. Spirit, what advice do you offer the Cancer on this third sign individual? Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like Cancer, this could be your partner. Earth and water does go really good together. So I kind of feel like your partner has to be Earth sign. And it's not so much your trust issues with them, but more so there with you. So the Ace of Pentacles does represent a new beginning. You actually got, got Ace of Pentacles in both of your readings. So I do kind of feel like Ace of Pentacles is where you um, kind of have a new beginning of stability and security in your relationship. The Nine of Cups is representing um, wishes because the, the Nine of Cups is the card of wishes. Um, so there's some sort of wish that's going to be granted or it's a really good card to get it just shows happiness, security um, I really do like the illustration a lot of tenderness you know when they say try a little tenderness I feel like this is sort of the, you know your partner is sort of emotionally they're kind of you know, but I do see that coming about around the third week of May, second week of May, actually. So, and the full card is really good because this is where you kind of start over and you just, it's like that, um, you kind of feel giddy about the situation again. So that's, that's actually a really good card. Uh, let me ask Spirit about Nine of Cups. So I'm, I'm hoping that this reading resonates for me in May. Four of Cups. So I feel like cancer has been needing some something emotionally from their partner. And they've been sort of really trying to get it, really waiting for it, probably being patient. I feel like with the Four of Cups, it does represent that you guys may have recently, recently um, had some sort of emotional split to where you couldn't really... You know, there was something going on. It's like an apathetic sort of feeling to where it was just kind of like, feel like cancer. You felt like your partner didn't care about you. Three of Cups comes up. So this is where you, uh, this is the card of reunions. So I feel like with the Three of Cups, you're sort of um, reuniting with each other. And then you got the King of Pentacles. So... I feel like the King of Pentacles, again, represents your partner being there for you, you know, being solid and being loyal to you. And um, also, there is something, you know, with, well, with this third week, I do see the Six of Cups. So I feel like, you know, this is where you and your partner are probably going to get, the, like, you're going to just, the Six of Cups represents sort of reminiscing and so I do see you doing that heavily at work. Probably whatever the judgment is, you do want to not prejudge a situation. 
it, it is some kind of cycle that you know your relationship but i do feel like it, it's more so points to the earth energy but i feel like the king of pentacles does represent um a solid foundation in a relationship and then you end with the two of cups so this is where you have some sort of union uh where you fall in love or something like that so i feel like you know, you're going to really at least feel very balanced. It's kind of like a bubble love. So I think that's really good. So um, let me ask Spirit more about the fourth week of May 2017. And what advice would you offer to the Cancer? So I'm going to lay out three more cards. And the first card is the Ace of Cups. So y'all know that that could mean baby news. The Hanged Man. The star okay so I feel like the ace of cups is representing I mean just the ace of cups being surrounded with the star card um, does make the energy from the hangman represent some sort of surrender so I feel like it's been a long time you've been sort of like I feel like it's it's some sort of emotional surrender <clears throat> that you've been waiting on now the ace of cups could represent maybe a child especially with the star card coming up but the star represents healing and hope and illumination there's a couple of cards in here that made me look at maybe twin flame but you didn't get any of the well the star card is that but I kind of feel as though maybe in the, well the two of cups does actually that's the card it's covered up now I feel like with the ace of cups representing some sort of gift from God or some sort of blessing uh, within your relationship, which could be a child, uh, the hanged man. Um, and the star card is representing, you know, you sort of, maybe you're going to wait, but maybe, maybe you want to be patient. Okay. I do feel like you do need to be patient. Uh, maybe you're going to feel like there's, maybe you're going to, you know, I don't know. It kind of feels like maybe your partner is kind of resisting. Maybe they kind of feel like you're going to, maybe they're afraid. I could definitely see that. But with the star card coming up, I feel like there's some sort of healing uh, with this two of cups. And then also um, getting clarity and illumination, you know, within each other. And I really do love this card. This is actually a fertility card. Okay, because you can see that she's actually cradling her stomach and pouring water from so she's actually healing someone it's kind of like a it's really one of the sex magic cards that we look at if i wanted to see if someone was doing sex magic so that's why she's sort of pouring the water from her womb symbolically into a lotus so the star represents you know healing energy typically from archangels um or just a healer you know well not just a healer but a healer just um healing energy um, and vitality and um, also there's a lot of mystery in the star card you know it's kind of like um, what's the word that I'm looking for for the star card the star card represents really happy lovers so and just lovers that that inspire each other Okay, and just are genuinely happy to be together. So, that's really good. I think that that's what every cancer wants also. So, it looks like a lot of you, for a majority of you, are going to be getting that. Especially with the emperor, you may be getting some, um, with the two of cups representing union proposal. Um, so, yeah, lucrative proposals and... and um, Also, just um, I feel like the star card represents when it represents validation, but on both sides. OK. All right. That is going to do it. Cancers, if you want a private reading, you can still come to me. The link to the website is my website is in the video description box. I am running a special for April where my uh, 30 minute readings are twenty dollars. So uh, if you do need a reading, because I do feel like for the month of April, a lot of cancers are going to need some guidance, okay, as far as whatever is going on during the month of April. All right. 
So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and support the channel by hitting thumbs up. All right. Namaste.